More than 40% of tickets sold for the Cricket World Cup being held here have been bought by fans of South Asian origin cheering on other countries. In 1990, Lord Tebbit implied that Britons who supported the countries of their ethnic origin instead of England were not sufficiently integrated. But today, there is little suggestion that supporting another team conflicts with being proudly British. In fact, our cricketing authorities openly admit they want to convert the huge interest from British South Asian fans into developing the England stars of the future. Now, identities are multiple. A Briton may choose to support England in football, Pakistan in cricket, and Team GB in the Olympics. This is similar to a French dual national here supporting the French team over ours in the Football World Cup. Not least because they won. <laughs> the world is a lot more complex than Tebbit's test allows for. And don't even get me started on my mixed British-Pakistani-American via Essex son, born in Tennessee, but living in London. Though, if he grows up to call it soccer instead of football, I'll just have to tell him that that just ain't cricket. <laughs> <laughs>I agree with you um, entirely, especially on the soccer thing. <laughs> Don't have yeah, that. Oh, no, Stamp that straight him, out. No but no, I do yeah. agree with you, and I do think that people are little bits of everything these mm, days. Mm. Um, what I do think, though, is if you scratch beneath the surface, it does worry me slightly when you look at things like um, the British Attitude Survey and you ask people, do you feel English, for example? And there's an interesting stat where it says, are you proud to be English? And if you look at the younger people, 18 to 24-year-olds, only 45% of those yeah are. So whilst I think, yes, it's fine to, you know, be mixed identity and support different things, I wonder if there is this slight undercurrent, um, which is reflective in some of these things, where people are not feeling fully integrated in England and feeling, um, you know, identifying and proud to be British. Mm -hmm. And if that is the case, and some of these stats would show it is, and that for me is slightly concerning. Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I um, recently declared myself English. Uh, many people were confused. I, I'm clearly not Anglo-Saxon, right? Mm. I'm not white English in that. In that you yeah, English so, or British? Well, I think I'm both. I think I'm English. But which would well. you say yeah, first? Yeah. Um, well, probably Essex. <laughs> you <laughs> didn't answer <laughs> the question. Don't be a no, politician. British on me. first. Oh, okay. I would. English I'd or say British. But I am English as well. Right? English yeah. or British? It's interesting. British. You, you, yeah. You've yeah. met English my, or British? Uh, British. Yeah. You, you've yeah. met my British. husband. British and uh, he's from Bosnia, mm, and I asked mm, him this question yeah. the other day, and, and he was actually really troubled. I said, who would you support in a football match? Mm. And he was actually quite troubled about it, yeah, and, I, and I, yeah. he said, let me have a think. And he said, because he's first-generation immigrant, yeah. uh, so he didn't leave Bosnia until he was, like, 28, yeah. um, he said, if it was a football match with Bosnia and England, I'd have to support Bosnia, he said, but if it was England against anywhere else, at yeah. anything else, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would support England. Yeah. And I asked him if he felt integrated, and he says it's not about... He thinks integration isn't about not to do this sport. He said it's about what you feel. You know, he said to be he wanted to be a good British citizen, but he didn't apply for his British passport until five years after he'd been here because he didn't feel he deserved it or had warranted it. Wow. Because he thinks it's about working, yeah. being a good citizen, yeah. doing you know, giving something back. So he waited five yeah. or six years. He was eligible in the of beginning. Of course, he, he, I've met him. He's yeah. from Bosnia. Yeah. He's and from that, Bosnia. Of course, yeah. that, that horrific civil war began yeah. there with, with just after the World Cup. Was of it course. the World Cup or the Olympics? Yeah. Was it? And it yes, it, well, it wasn't event. after the Olympics, yeah. no, yeah. it was after the thing. Yeah. But, um, yeah, and it, he just says that it, it's a very complicated thing. But yeah, he yeah. said if you were a third-generation immigrant, you yeah. would probably support Britain and everything, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. I think that I couldn't I, I remember when Tebbit announced the cricket yeah. test, but I had to go back into the to wiki to yeah. see it was an actual thing. Yeah, that's right. I thought it was just yeah. something he oh, said. Oh, I remember it. I think it's incredibly yeah. divisive, but yeah. I think mm. sport is incredibly unifying. Mm. 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 And um, mm. well, on Saturday, got... we saw Mo Salah in, oh, okay. in Liverpool. Well, I just want to talk yeah. about that for a second. Yeah. And, um, you know, there are now chants. I won't do it, but they go, Mo Salah, la, 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 mm. you know. If he's good enough for you, do it. Yeah. If he's good enough for you, he's good enough for me. If he scores another few, I'll be a Muslim too. Yeah. So in fact, what's happening is yeah, yeah. people's love and admiration for footballers of foreign nationalities. Yeah. And I think mm. in the last World Cup squad in 2018, 11 out of the 23 players were of ethnic yes. origin. Yeah. So what's happening is, is that people actually they're defeating Islamophobia, they're defeating mm, racism mm, by mm. actually playing the game and being, yeah. you know, you know, well, sporting he heroes. Health Secretary Matt Hancock agrees with you. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's quite funny. Oh!
It's the Cricket World Cup, and everybody can get involved, so let's get active. Look how unfit he is. It's <laughs> He's unbelievable health for health secretary. Does anyone here have tickets? Well, Does anyone here no. have the Matt Hancock app? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not me. Not like something out of the office. That's <laughs> yeah. Has Nick, has Nick waited in yet? Yeah, have you waited on this? Uh, yeah, because I wanted to know whether you're English or British, yes, so I had a yes. say about that. No, but um, that was it. Well, yeah, look, I think I no, look, I agree with Rachel. It, yeah. Sport is a tremendous way uh, to bring yeah. people together. But I think we have to check it. It's not as if, mm. sadly, and you, better, you know better than most, we're not yet a land of milk and honey if right. you're someone with right. a different skin colour or yeah. a different face. Yeah. So we have to bear that in mind. Yeah. Um, what I find intriguing, though, is that politicians will seize moments like this to suddenly show that they're men of the people yeah. and stuff. And you know, in reality, the minute the camera goes away, he just gets yeah. back to doing what he does, and they have to play to the camera like that. But no, of course, what you say, mm. I sense again, we're all in violent agreement most, 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 of, most of the dangerous, way. Dangerous, dangerous. Well, actually, 45, I think it's 45%, if I can just check that, of 41% um, of all ticket sales uh, uh, went to South Asian fans. But there's an opportunity here, because we have Moeen, uh, who plays for our team, and actually, if the, if the cricket board for England and Wales were to see that, as an opportunity to tap into raw talent, we could end up with, as has happened in football, mm. more of these British South Asians who yeah. actually only 3% of the domestic games of tickets are bought by them. So they're not involved on the domestic level. And is that's that cricket? The opportunity. Yeah, cricket. cricket yeah. They're not involved on the domestic level, and it's an opportunity to convert that. Cricket? No. Yes. Watch it? Will you watch it? <laughs> yeah, I watched the England-Pakistan game. And oh, I, I watch that. And yeah. knowing you yeah. were going to do this topic, yeah. I mean, I, I saw the crowd differently because you couldn't assume that yeah. people who look Pakistan were supporting Pakistan. I think yeah. that's fantastic. But it's interesting, what Tebbit said was his, his cricket test of loyalty yeah. suggested migration is preferable from countries who were on our side in World War II. <laughs> <laughs> did, he, did he say that? Yes, he did oh, say wow. that. Yes, he did. For Prince Harry, he's had a word about it as well. The first ever Cricket World Cup took place in England in 1975, and I'm delighted that the UK will once again play host to this wonderful global sporting event, featuring 10 incredible teams who, thanks to the UK's cultural diversity, will feel as though they are competing in front of a home crowd every time they take to the field. So there you go. I must say, I've been to uh, the Oval to watch cricket about five times now, and I've still got no clue what's going on. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a free bar in the corner. Somebody good-looking, right. obviously, took you, didn't they? Well, yeah. no comment, no comment. <laughs>